Hey guys, Blow Up Season 12, Episode 2 of Criminal Minds. Here we go. We're already on the plane. Oh. Are we just continuing? Maybe not. Whoa! Okay, wait, hold up. Hell, but yeah, yeah, I'm good. You need anything? No, I'm okay. Water, tea. I saw some white boy popcorn back there. Hey, Luke. Um, thank you. Not for what you did. You don't need to thank me. We're team. What happened? Hey, it's three in the morning. What happened to you, honey? What's what's going on? Why are you up? Like was saying, he's got a crew. Oh no. Yeah, it's pretty bad. We only started going south last night, but tonight it costs really bad. Hey, you should have told me. Why well, so you could worry why you're on a case? There's nothing you could have done. Doesn't matter, you should have called. Well, you don't think I can handle it? I didn't say that. Then what are you saying? You wanna talk about it? I mean, you know we have to, right? Damn. You know what the bureau therapist said. No holding it in ever. We bring it home, we gotta get it out. What happened? It was kids, wasn't it? Yeah. Shit. Loss and possession, death and life are one. There falls no shadow. Where there shines no sun. Belair Bella. Mm. Well, we were on our way back from Seattle. Hmm, this pretty killer with the assault rifle. Yeah. That's when we got the call. This morning in Los Angeles, the bodies of two children were found in an abandoned building that burned up. Are these the missing kids that Hotch is consulting on? 14-year-old Hannah Robertson disappeared five days ago from Irvine, California. That little guy is 11-year-old Max Wasserman, who disappeared from Anaheim, California yesterday. A blitz attack would be faster and intimidating. You would need that to establish control. Either way, he's patient and organized. He probably stalked them and learned their daily routines. Wait, Garcia, two years ago, San Diego. Yeah, way ahead of Brainiac, Lisa Ruiz, and James Jefferson, both Runaways and foster kids with crosses race lines, and those kids were older, but the MO is the same. Uh. A girl, and they were all found burned to death in abandoned buildings. But these latest victims were burned together, so why the change? So, what did you think? Definitely the same guy. Why? MO was too similar, geography was too close. And when we got to the crime scene, we knew. He used the same type of lock and chain to restrain the victims in San Diego. You don't see his cops like this. Mm. Would too. That's like terrible. The guy goes from runaways to good kids from good neighborhoods. That's a lot more. He work chains them up to a bed place. and lights the whole place on so fire. What's so special about these? Bro, two? look at the position of these cops. The kids could see each other while this was happening. Psychological torture. The unsub probably watched as well until at a certain point the fire took over and he had to go. But he needs both kids to make it work. Uh -huh. He took Hannah Robertson four days before Max Wasserman. Then we explain the two-year dormancy period. Who he burns is just as important as the fire itself. Interesting. I think he did that while he held it. Yeah. You get anything from the I'm giving this guy the death penalty regardless, um, but... Anna Robertson had several burn wounds that were a few days old. He couldn't resist burning her while he held her. And some sexual assault? Inconclusive, but she did have a, uh... With the other child? Well, not too much damage, but they did find traces of lighter fluid on both of them. A lot of it. And he seems to think 
the boy was lit on fire first. You know, that is so the disturbing. Uh, the boy was the flashpoint. You know what? Um, can, we, can we please do this in the morning? I'm really tired. I'm exhausted. You cannot go to sleep with this in your head. It's not healthy. No, it's not. You've got to get it out. You have to. And I just had two cups of coffee, so me the looks. <laughs> Friends of teens were stunned because of all the fire damage. Your profile was developing, but the guy was in the wind. A couple days went by, and to tell you the truth, I lost hope. A guy like that might get quiet because you know. Pyro. Case cooled off. We all thought he went dormant again. He needed time to plan his next kills. But we were wrong. Really? Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. What? I didn't mean to scare you. I just thought maybe you could help me. My daughter told me that this app called Snap Talk, but I can't find it anywhere. I'm terrible with this thing. Snapchat. What? It's Snapchat, not Snapchat. You're kidding. That would explain it. Driving. You know what? Would you mind just... My daughter. She always just does it for me. I'm sorry. I'm late for school. Oh, uh, it's okay. Uh, no problem. Sorry. You have a good day. Is that her? I got, I got it. <laughs> Just will, Will, uh, let me go look after him, okay? Um. Was she unable to save her? That never really happens, so. We always seem to save them. Thomas here. Still has a fever. Oh. Yeah, we can give him some more medicine in a couple of hours. We know that he's extremely mobile. We've notified law enforcement and surrounding counties. We just want to make sure he doesn't leave the city limits. We've scoured CODIS, as well as the list of arson arrests in the area, and there's nothing. So our guy probably hasn't let his fire habit get him in trouble. He's smart enough not to get caught. And Damn, this guy's gonna be tough. Stuff. He could be a firefighter, he might work in a crematorium, even being a cook in a kitchen could satiate his urges. He would want to be in He's been burned before, clearly. A very specific MO, and that consistency and Good behavior God, and dude. need based, so he will stick to his pattern. Francesca Morales is probably still alive. So time's the essence. He's moving fast, we need to move faster. Thank you. Wait, so he has two now? Yeah, the LAPD doubled their patrols. The fire department was on high alert, but this guy moved around a lot all over Southern California. I mean, he could have been anywhere. Her name was Renee. Single mom, registered nurse. Her husband, Tony, was killed in Afghanistan six years ago. Did Francesca walk to school the same way every day? Yeah. I should have went with her. Hey, hey, hey. I mean, this is a lot. You cannot blame yourself. How did this happen? Mr. Morales, we believe this man appears as very non threatening. So we knew if he tried to use a ruse on her, it wouldn't have worked on this girl. Mm -hmm. So he probably resorted to some kind of blitz attack. Yep. The compulsion was too strong. And once he saw her, he, he would have needed to take her. But, you know, how do you explain that to a parent? Do you even have kids? I just kept wondering how how she's doing it all alone. I don't know what I'd do without you. Roberta? Uh, my name's Jennifer. I'm the JJ episode. You know what that is, right? <gasps> you need anything? And what do they call you? Just burn out. All right. You collect comic books? Obviously. May I take a look? 
kid was like, I don't know, lady. Oh, Open your eyes. See. These are guys. Spider-Man, X-Men, Doctor Strange. He's never heard of me. Trying. Doctor Strange and Wanda are on my wall. <laughs> you mean one rat? The Herald of Galactus? Uh, your mom said you were sick today, so you didn't go to school, but do you ever remember seeing anything weird on your way to school on any other day? Anybody watching you? Did anyone ever try to talk to you? Do you remember ever seeing the same guy over and over again? You know you're scared, but we are your friends. Okay, and we will not stop until we get God dang it, Chloe. Your fucking hair is everywhere. I wasn't really sick today. I was just faking. It's not your fault, kid. It's not your fault. Who you wanted this to be? Look, if you track his activity from the start, his first two victims were found near the Mexican border, but they were discovered six months apart and in locations 52 miles apart. Unfortunately, because there were runaways, it's impossible to track when or where they were taken. But his next two victims, Hannah Robertson and Max Wasserman, only lived 14 miles apart and they were taken within days of each other. Um, we profiled that that could be about availability. A lot of abandoned space here. And the high police presence around the abduction sites. I mean, it makes sense he'd keep moving to avoid being caught. Mm -hmm. But he didn't keep moving and he didn't go dormant. He stayed right here and accelerated. Los Angeles is where he wants to be, I think. He's been converging on the city. That's true. His next victim probably lives in Los Angeles, too. Interesting. Sorry, yes, sir. Garcia, how many boys live within a 15-mile radius of Francesca Morales? Uh, thousands. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, like, literally. All right, narrow your search by hair color. We're only interested in boys with brown hair. All right, I'm going to handle this. I'll hit you back when I have something. All right, thanks. Wait a Great. second. Francesca Morales has a brother. That's going to be too far. If the sub is converging, he could be a target. Yeah, but Hannah Robertson had an 11 year old brother and a 9 year old brother, and Max Wasserman has a 15 year old sister. Confidence, opportunity, maybe he just wasn't ready. Maybe the pattern isn't about older girl, younger boy. It's about older sister, younger brother. We should bring in this Morales kid just to be safe. Just yeah, now, this is they know. Uh, we just left about 10 minutes ago. All right, we'll head back, but LAPD was just finishing up when we left. Of the house. What? Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Shit! He lit a car on fire nearby. He used it as a diversion to get those cops away from the house, which means he was probably watching while we were there. House is clear. Roberto's not here. Damn it. Uh, this morning? <laughs> you mean yesterday morning? You want some more? Um, no, thank you. <laughs> I don't I don't understand why your eggs are so good. My I still can't make them. I think my eggs are I great. told you it's the butter. Uh, yeah. It's the butter. It's, it's the butter. butter. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm assuming that you uh, issued another Amber alert. Her name Morales got a severe concussion, but she's gonna be fine. I'm surprised he didn't kill her. He didn't want her. Was she able to Yeah, she's not the target. Yeah. White guy, about six feet tall, that's about it. Well, that narrows the search. Yeah. He's in crisp patrols in low income and industrial areas, but he's most likely to find the space he needs. Ready, willing, and excellent, sir. Garcia, our list of arson arrests and convictions in California. Okay, those are mostly men. Yeah, they're all men. BTW, <laughs> bad boys, and fire. They're all men. Many of the most siblings. <laughs> a lot of names. I'm gonna get jiggy with it and give you less of those. 166. Mm. First up is John Bryant. He is a firefighter in San Diego. Definitely not our unsub, because according to Facebook. Next up, we have Steve Addison. He's a sales exec at Wing Ho Fireworks in Riverside. Definitely not it because he's been in Shanghai for the last month. And lastly, we have Rudy Sheffield. Certainly not our unsub because he is serving two years in Chino State Prison on drug charges. We have guys who have siblings and work in fire-related occupations. And we've got 
got one. Hello. That's him. John David Bates, resident of Nevada, currently running in the Last name Bates, Angeles. of course. What's he doing here? Uh, he works for Smoke Out Repair and Construction. They fix fire damage, board of windows and stuff. Well, uh, when he was 12, he set fire to the family house with his 14-year-old sister locked inside of it. Did it work? No. But he's a tenacious little bugger, and two years later, he tried to do it again. Also did not work, but at that time, his parents relinquished custody, and he was rehomed, and went into juvie, and what? into the foster care system. That could be the fantasy he's trying to live up, burning his sister alive. Are they in touch? Uh-uh. Looks like he was doing work in San Diego two years ago, somehow found her email address, and tried to reconnect. Two years ago, that's when the first murders took place. Garcia, did she respond to the email? Uh -uh. Yeah. Oh, like, she, she did. She basically told him to go have sex with himself, and then she deleted <laughs> the email. Again. That rejection was probably his trigger. No, we should go pick her up. Garcia, we need addresses for Bates and the sister. Of course. Set, set, set. We got him. Why don't you just light yourself on fire? Be one with the fire. Not a bad idea. One percent. Oh, 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 oh. What's up, Garcia? I, I got a pong to my ping on Roberto Morales. <laughs> I got a pong to my ping! I sent us the address and notify LAPD. I already sent it. I'll let Hodge know. Shit. Wait till you see this. <laughs>
Did you ever take some time off? I don't need time off. I'm, At least a week. I'm fine. It's not a request. You spend a lot of time telling people they can't blame themselves. So maybe you want to take your own advice. You saved that boy's life and the woman too. Yeah, well, what about Francesca's? That wasn't your fault. Oh, whose fault was it? The intel. And now because of you, he's never going to be able to do that to anyone again. No, she's dead because I made a choice. No, darling, that monster killed her. No, I chose her. <laughs> you want to know why? Maybe if I went to her first, I, I could have saved both of them. You know, I shouldn't have said, look out. We could have saved all of them. I know that. Or maybe you'd all be dead. JJ, you're going to spin yourself like a top with the what ifs. Ellen, you made a choice. The best choice you could, and two people are alive because of it. You're my hero, and your boys, and your team, and all those other people that you saved. Don't you ever forget that. Come here, I got you. Mother Teresa said, love begins by taking care of the closest ones, the ones at home. Damn. That was a good episode. It's so easy to beat yourself over all the things you weren't able to do. People you weren't able to save. But you can't save everybody. The unfortunate truth. <sighs> this show stresses me out. Like the video, comment down below, subscribe if you have not already. On to episode three. I will see y'all next time.